Hello friends, today is Monday Thursday. The title of our devotion is Better Than a Photo. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Luke 22 so that we can read 14, 15, and then 19 through 20. So go ahead, press pause, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, let's read this together. Luke 22, 14, 15, 19 through 20 says this, And when the hour came, he reclined at table, and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which I have given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Our devotion goes on to say this. Like many people, I have voicemails and videos I will never erase. They are the only way I will ever see or hear again the voice of people I love who have died. Until I too go to be with the Lord, they are all that I have. On the eve of his death, it seems to me that Jesus too felt this need to leave the people he loved with something of himself. Oh, he knew he would rise again, and also that he would be with them forever, even after his ascension into heaven. But it wouldn't be the same as seeing and hearing and touching him daily. So Jesus gave us communion. This is my body, he said, breaking the bread and giving it to them. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. And they ate and drank and were comforted. Jesus gives us many gifts through communion, forgiveness, life, peace, but best of all is the gift of himself. And we have that gift forever until the day he returns to us bodily and we go to live with him forever. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your gift of love. In your name we pray, amen, amen. And now, friends, here are the three things that we're going to reflect and discuss with those around us on this Monday, Thursday. The first one is this. What keepsakes do you have of someone who loved you? The second one. How often do you go to communion? Do you wish it was more often or less? And why? And the third thing is this. When you see Jesus face to face, what do you imagine your reaction will be? Oh, friends, I wish I could hear that one most of all. I love you so much, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye, friends.